Ở đây, ở đây. Ở đây. Ở đây, lấy lời đi. Đây, 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 lấy lời đi. So Maya is missing. Maya is missing and we don't know where she is. So help find the missing survivor. There's one there and there's one here. So let's go check out these missing survivors in hopes that one of them is Maya in trouble. This is a mistake too, bro. What is happening here? Why am I even doing this? Sam is dead. That's the first survivor I lost. She'd probably kill me if she knew I was saying this about her. But Sam was a good person. I think she put up such a tough front because getting close to people made it harder to lose them. But she always looked out for me. For anybody, she felt like she had to protect. Goodbye, Sam. We'll miss you. And your foul friggin' mouth. Like, I ain't trying to lose survivors on the way to save survivors. You want to go home? I didn't say that. Just, you should have known better is all. Heads up, we got a visitor. Guess we bit off a little more than we could chew. Don't... I'm on. We appreciate it. Last we heard from him, Jack should be somewhere in this vicinity. Now, let's get looking. What's up? We got Zuck. Anybody home? Holy <laughs> Am I glad to see you guys? Well, you didn't think we were gonna leave you out here, did you? How did you even find me anyway? We had a little help. I, I don't know what to say. I'm not sure I would have survived out here on my own. Well, go ahead, lead the way. Let's roll. our place. Thanks again for all the help. Hey, why don't you come inside? The least we can do is feed you. Quinn. Oh, thank God. If you ever do something that incredibly stupid again, I will kill you, okay? Hi, Becca. Don't you hi, Becca, me with your aw shuck small town charm. I can't believe you. We need to stay close to home. Jack could have died out there. I couldn't risk that. No, you just risked everything we have by leaving this place undefended. But I'm glad you're home safe. Well, you can thank our friend here for that. We'd have been in real trouble otherwise. Okay, I admit it. I'm impressed. You happy? Got a message from one of our neighbors. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. Yeah, I just don't see why you're so heartless about this. We got plenty of food here. We should be sharing it. Plenty of food? So you know how long all this is gonna last, huh? We've got enough food for a month? Sure. A year? Maybe. Two years? Ten? Don't talk to me about plenty of food. Okay, fine. We need a long-term solution. I get that. But in the meantime, we could still be helping people around here. And what happens when the people we help get a bunch of their buddies with shotguns to come and take what we've got? Why would they do that? Please. You try to help people, and you just get taken advantage of. Way of the world. Still on the hunt for Maya. <laughs> Maya probably thinks we're... She probably thinks that we're still over there. 
at the old spot. But now we're back at Marshall. So maybe she's over there? Anybody home? Saved me. I found her. Yes. Let's get out of here while we can. Okay. Mayo must have been taking a poop. And then she got attacked by zombies while she was taking a poop. The one thing I wish the game did do, and I hope that State of Decay 2 does, is like more the the management. Like, I want to manage my survivors more. I want to, like, you can manage the base, but like it really doesn't come down to anything. Whereas like, I really wish like I could send people out to go do certain things and, you know, kind of do a lot of, a lot more cooler stuff with with like management of your survivors and who takes what and all that kind of stuff there doesn't seem to be a lot of that even though i thought that's what this game was gonna be but it kind of it kind of lacks a lot of that stuff uh it's it's very thin it's there's not a lot of it you need to get home right now what happened Alan just shot Pastor Will. Jesus. I'm on my way. What? All you want, you know I'm right. None of you had the stones to do what had to be done. We don't know he was going to die, Alan. The hell we didn't. Everybody who gets this black fever shit ends up dead sooner than later. You know that. You still should have talked to the rest of us first. We sit around talking about our feelings all day, and then what? He turns when nobody's looking? Each three of us before we put him down? What about me, Alan? Do I need to start sleeping with one eye open? Start getting sicker and maybe. Is Alan out there with you? Nope. Shoot. I think he wandered off on his own. He left this note on my desk. I don't know what it means. Go on. It says heading to the fork in the road for a country fried steak. Maybe gone a while. Alan. I think he might be delirious. I'll look into it. There's some trouble we might want to look into. One thing I do like about the game is that, like, you do get a pretty good, like, lay of the land. And you kind of start to remember and pick up on the streets and where things are the more you play or as you continually keep playing, you know what I mean? So that's dope. Should have known you'd come looking for me. Alan! What you doing, Alan? I'm done for. You know it. I know it. Even that damn fool little girl knows it. She just won't say so. The way I see it, I got three options. Die puking my guts out and turn into one of them. Trust one of you to do it for me, or come out here and do it myself. Door number three it is. You don't have to do this. We can- Only thing you can do for me is what I'm man enough to do myself. It's not a thing anyone else should have to live with. Now get out of here. Give me some damn privacy at least. Sure. So long, Alan. I already told you, we don't have any ammo. I mean, Christ, we're already down to killing zombies with two by fours. Yeah, that's real heartbreaking. Thing is, that doesn't change our bottom line. But I don't have any. I'm not interested in your excuses. You got two days. Oh, and in case you were wondering, we do have ammo. Perfect. The hell was I thinking? Everything okay? What? 
Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got that impression. All right. Come on. Follow me. I, uh, uh, okay. Here you go. And what the hell is this? The rest of the ammo you're owed? That should clear the debt. Well, you boys didn't have a bullet to your name. This is from your stock, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Why would it be from their stock? Well, does it clear the debt or not? Yeah, bullets are bullets. Don't much care where they came from. You can tell your sweethearts their debt's settled. The hell'd you do that for? I, I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Doesn't really cover it, does it? Forget about it. You'd have done the same for us. Well, yeah, I guess, but I mean, you couldn't really have known that. So, we got a visitor? One of Joe Wilkerson's guys. <gasps> what does he want? Something about a favor? I don't know. Just hurry home, okay? I don't like the way he's looking at me. Can I help you? Job sent me. Wants to ask a favor of you. We got a big trade going down with them folks over at the ranch house. But they want some kind of neutral observer, whatever the f Job figured maybe you'd put their minds at ease. What do you say? You'll get a cut of the deal, of course. Provided it all goes according to plan. I ain't playing with the book of sense no more, bro. Right on the grapevine, you might need a hand. No sweat. I'll help run interference while your people work. Guess that's true, I owe ya. I'll meet you out front. We need to build some watchtowers, like they have down at the courthouse. It's a fairly- Hey, Bex. <sighs> what is it, Quentin? Not really, just, uh, you know, checking in. Dude, what the hell? I saw you like 10 minutes ago. Also, kinda busy here. Right, right, sorry. Okay, I'm getting started. Keep those zombies off my back if you can. Watch the right. Anyways, like I was saying, the watchtowers were my idea, but Quentin designed them. He's pretty clever when it comes to building stuff. With girls? Not so much. Trouble in paradise? God, don't get me started. So the other night we had a pretty close call, right? I mean, zombies were inside. We were all freaked. So we raided the liquor department afterwards, just to take the edge off, you know? What happened? So, yeah. We both drank more than we probably should, and there's this couch in the manager's office, and... Yeah. But now he's doing this whole lost puppy thing calling me around and acting like we're married or whatever. And if he doesn't knock off this clinging vine thing, I think I might throttle him. So, uh, how's it coming out there? See what I mean? <laughs> Is that gonna do ya? Should give us some protection anyways. We would have lost a lot of people without you. That counts for something in my book. Anyway, thanks for the- Oh, what the f Hold it right there. Hands where we can see him. Whoa, easy there, Alex. It's me, Sheriff Carl. Oh, we don't want any trouble, we're just here to talk. Yeah, you wasted a trip. Turn around, walk away, and forget you ever saw this place. Huh? Wait, who's Alex? Forget it. We're not interested in signing up with your little society. Ease up, Becca. 
Not everybody's out to kill us and take our stuff. It doesn't take everybody, just one. All right, we'll go. We're not here to pressure anybody. You folks stay safe now. Hope you're keeping your nose clean, Alex. Let's move. Marcus and Maya back at it. Charlie six to anyone receiving. Where the hell is everybody? See what's Papa Lopin with the Sarge. Hippies, open the goddamn gate! <coughs> Everything okay? Bastards aren't opening the gates. Meanwhile, my boys are sitting out here like a goddamn mobile brain buffet, so no, everything's pretty much not okay. You don't look so good. I'm fine, I'm fine. I had worse the day after I learned to say red light district in German. You throw a guy out on his ass for a case of the sniffles? What kind of an army are you running? There's nobody up there. Yeah? Why do you think I'm trying so hard to get the gate open? Hey, here's a thought. You want to see what's over there? What the big bad army's been doing while you civilians were stuck on this side of the river? Watch our backs while we tear these barricades down! And I'll give you the grand tour. Come on! <laughs> 